day, dear viewers. It's a pleasure for me to meet you today. The headlines, breaking news in Cameroon as the salaries of the civilian and military personnel has increased of 5.2%, a document that was signed yesterday by the President of the Republic, Paul Biyan. In Nigeria, third-party candidate Peter Obi said he will prove that he won the elections. Qualifiers AFCON 2023, Ignatius Ganako has to put the death of his daughter, who died three weeks ago behind him because he was selected for the Indomitable Lions, who will play against Namibia for a few weeks from now. Previously announced in the headlines, the President of the Republic of Cameroon, His Excellency Paul Bia, signed on Monday 6th of March 2023 a document that assigned an increase of salary of about 5.2% for the civilian and military personnel. The rising of salary was also due to the increase in price of petrol and gasoil. In Nigeria, the third party candidate Peter Obi said he will challenge the outcome of Nigeria fiercely for presidential elections after official results awarded victory to the ruling party candidate Bola Tinibu. Tinibu, a former Lagos governor, is set to succeed the president Muhammad Buhari, who will step down in May after two terms. Scorer against PSG, four against two last Saturday in the 26th day of League One, FC non striker Ignatius Ganako is still shocked over the death of his daughter. In an interview with West France after the game, the Cameroonian striker returned to his last week and his return to competition. The 24-year-old player also spoke about the many terms he received, including that of the Parisian star Kylian Mbappé. Ignatius Ganako admits that it was complicated at first because it was still fresh. The player will have to put the tragedy behind him as he has been selected in the Mitterbe Lions who will play against Namibia a few weeks from now. Now, summary in French. Au Cameroun, le président Paul Biya signe un décret qui revalorise de 5,2% les salaires de personnel civil et militaire lundi 6 mars 2023. Cette annonce a été faite par le premier ministre chef du gouvernement. Décret signé à la suite de la hausse du prix et du carburant à la pompe. Le mardi 31 janvier 2023, le gouvernement camerounais avait officiellement annoncé que le prix des carburants seront revus à la hausse à partir du 1er février 2023. Ainsi, depuis plus d'un mois, le litre du super est passé de 630 francs CFA à 630 francs CFA le litre et le gazeur est passé de 400 de 545 francs CFA francs le litre. Basketball, NBA, Donovan Michel et les Cleveland Cavaliers héroïques. Les Boston Celtics chutent encore, bien que menés de 14 points. Avant le début du quatrième carton, les Cleveland Cavaliers l'ont emporté à domicile contre les Boston Celtics. Lundi soir, dorénavant, Michel a inscrit 40 points et le remplaçant Lamar Stevens a été très précieux dans le money time et en prolongation. C'est la troisième défaite pour Boston qui accuse un peu le coup en cette fin de saison. End of this newscast. Thank you guys for following. Stay tuned to our following programs.